All right, Steph, congratulations. You got your motorcycle license. You passed your MSF course. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think of the course? Was it tough? It was a little tough. It got kind of stressful, but I made it through. Did you have any doubt in your mind that you might uh, might not make it? No. I heard that you had a, <laughs> you had some doubts. It got kind of scary at one point, but I made it through. All right. Well, that's great. You got your motorcycle license. Now we're ready to take you to a whole new level. What we're going to do now is put you through my Ride Like a Pro course, the advanced course, but still on the 250 bike. This is where you're really going to refine and learn the motor officer techniques. Are you ready for that? I can do it. We're going to be using three techniques. I'm going to go over them even if you've heard them before. It makes sense to me to repeat them. That way there'll be no mistake. The first technique is the proper use of the friction zone. Remember, that's the area of the clutch between completely open and completely closed. We're going to be remaining in that gray area the entire time you're in an exercise. The second technique is the proper use of the rear brake. We're going to have a little bit of pressure on the rear brake. When you put a little pressure on the rear brake, put a little power to the rear wheel with the clutch and throttle, it makes the motorcycle want to stand up. The third most important technique is the proper use of your head and eyes. Remember, wherever you turn your head and eyes, that's where the bike will go. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? You yeah. feel a little bit more comfortable? Yes, I am. You ready for the next one? Yes, I am. All right. You notice I drew you a picture. See this arrow coming right in here? Here's this dip that you're making right there. That's why we learned it, because now we're going to do it right here. We're going to come in here, dip our bikes right here, and just follow this line all the way around. Look at him. Don't forget to use that rear brake. It's going to help you. This exercise is going to help you avoid the vehicle that violates your right of way. The most common motorcycle crash is the car turns left in front of you. When that happens, you have two choices. You could either stop. If you can't stop, you better be able to swerve out of the way. That will be a quick left to right maneuver. So what you want to do is follow the arrow. We're simply going to start with a U-turn. Notice once again, I drew your picture. Stephanie, the little baby biker. stop? Yes. Why weren't you covering that brake then? Uh. Your hand was over here and you didn't move your hand until you were halfway between these two cones. Yeah. You know you're going to stop yeah. so you want to cover the brake and keep your foot poised over the rear brake. If you're going 40 miles an hour doing this is going to save you 60 feet. It'll save you one second. It takes one second to go from here to here and to begin applying the brake. You know you're going to stop when you think you might have to stop. For instance, you're cruising down the road, you see a car that may turn left in front of you, cover that brake. It is your best friend. It'll save you 50, 60 feet, depending on your speed. Let's try it again. Okay, Steph, you finished a Ride Like a Pro course. You did very well. We had 10 riders. Most of them had a lot more experience than you, and I'd say you finished in the, the top two or three in the class. How did you feel about it? I felt really confident and I seemed to do really well. You're picking up the motor officer techniques. Remember, there's just three of them. Head and eyes, friction zone, a little bit of rear brake, and you could do anything you want with that motorcycle. Next thing is I'm going to do a little one-on-one -on -one training with you on a Sportster. Weighs twice as much as the bike you've been riding, so we've got to take that into consideration. And um, we'll see how you do with a little bit with a, a real motorcycle. Are you, you ready for that? I'm definitely ready. All right, we'll do it. Okay, Stephanie, you're now on a real motorcycle. 580 pounds full of gas and I filled it with gas and what I want you to do is just weave through there just as if you were on the smaller bike remember nothing's going to change head and eyes friction zone a little bit of rear brake focus as far down the end of the line as you can I got faith in you I know you could do it all right we're going to go now into the circle exercise this bike turns probably in about 14 and a half feet we're going to have you go into the 24 foot that means you got 10 feet to screw up and still make it through don't look at the cones, no reason to look down at them. Always look ahead. You got that, right? Yes, head and eyes. Now we're gonna move on to the offset cone weave. 
All this is is quick left to right transitions, exactly what you're gonna need out on the road. When a car violates you right away, you're gonna have to make a quick left to right or right to left transition. Stay right back here. Now snap your head. I'm noticing that Stephanie keeps turning her wheel straight as she makes her left to right transitions. Gonna have to correct that. She's gonna have to ride much more aggressively if she wants to be in the show. Probably a little negative motivation during the full class will help her. She also needs a little bit more work on the friction zone and rear brake. Riding the motorcycle ain't for wimps. Right. Okay, what we're gonna do now is the U-turn. And we're gonna use that dip that you learned in the first exercise. You're gonna dip right into the edge here. As soon as your bike starts going towards the edge, you're gonna snap the head nice as far as you can back that way. The further that way you look, you know, the easier it's gonna be. Make sure you're using that friction zone. If you feel like the bike is rough or choppy, that's telling you you need to pull that clutch in a little bit that you have it fully engaged. We don't want it fully engaged at any time. Don't be afraid to put a little more pressure on that rear brake, all right? All right. That's definitely enough, sir. Uh, we've spent here about Whew. two and a half hours practicing. Doing pretty good. Not ready to ride like a pro, not in the show. Not It'll yet. take probably another four hours. We're gonna put you through the regular class again tomorrow on this bike. Right. And then a little more practice after that, and I think you'll be ready for the show. Let's give her a hand. The name is Stephanie Bertschel, 19 years old, 96 pounds, brand new rider on an 800-pound motorcycle, and on that bike with the ease of a child's toy. Get in there nice and close. All right, Stephanie, fall in behind me. All right. Let's get all the bikes in this little, this little area right here. We'll get it as close as we can. Bringing in Motorman Jr. too. My son Tony, he's in the back there. He's not a police officer, he just looks like one. He learned these techniques when he was 16 years old. Alright. Now I can't see how they're doing. It doesn't look like a Chinese fire drill, does it? Because you ride a group of people and you glance in your rear view mirror and everybody doesn't have a clue as to how to ride their bike. I'm not sure if I want to ride with that group. Everybody should have these same skills. Takes about three or four hours to master this step-by-step -step approach. I show you on my video, you can't possibly go wrong. This ain't rocket surgery. Come on, how tough could it be? Like I said, you can do it with one hand. All right, everybody, one hand. <laughs> they don't have a throttle lock here. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my son Tony down there at the end. My wife Donna and Stephanie Burchess, our brand new professional rider. We've got our ride like a pro video on sale here, folks. You save five bucks over the internet price.